welcome to this week's UQ Concert Series. Today's concert is an audience, research and hybrid event presented by Percussion Dynamics featuring U School of Music staff and students. The University of Queensland acknowledges the traditional owners and their custodians of the lands on which UQ operates. We pay our respects to their ancestors and their descendants who continue cultural and spiritual connections to country. We recognise their valuable contributions to Australian and global society. I would now like to ask you to silence your phones and I will now hand over to Mary Broughton to tell you some more. Hello and welcome to today's concert. Um, we're very happy to, happy to be uh, presenting a percussion concert, somewhat delayed from March when we were meant to do it due to COVID, but we're all back in action now, which is great. Um, this concert is also, as mentioned, a hybrid audience research performance event. So one of our uh, PhD candidates is uh, conducting her research in conjunction with the performance today. You all would have seen some papers on your uh, chair and if if you're online, there'll be a link in the chat for you to participate in the research. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about it and um, what, what you're asked to do if you want to participate. So the aim of the research is to better understand uh, the experiences of audience members, be they in the concert hall room with us or, as we do um, in many cases today, watch performances live streamed. Um, so in particular interest to this research is uh, gathering audience members online or in the room, gathering their aesthetic responses um, in different uh, listening contexts and different social contexts as they experience the performance today. So if you choose to participate in the research, it's entirely voluntary. Um, we would ask you to complete uh, the uh, information seat, sheet and consent form. That's the first couple of pages that um, hopefully you didn't sit on, but you picked up. <laughs> and, um, and then complete the uh, first page of the questionnaire. So we're going to ask you to um, respond to pieces as they appear in the, in the program, but I will jump up and tell you when to respond so you don't have to um, worry about that. The whole questionnaire aspect should only take about 10 minutes of this entire um, experience today. Um, so what we're going to uh, do is there's the information sheet and consent form for you to fill out now and the first page of the survey and then we're going to ask you to respond to the pieces after each set of pieces. So the first one um, is the piazzola, and that has three um, little movements um, within that set. So you wait until the very end, but I'll pop up and, and tell you about that. Uh, at the end of the concert, we're also holding a focus group discussion for about 30 minutes or so, just in a room outside here, which you're invited to uh, take part in. If you are uh, online, then there will be a link at the end of the survey to a Zoom uh, room that you can go to to participate in an online focus group. Um, once again, participation is entirely voluntary and you can choose to do the questionnaire, or the focus group, you can do both or neither. It's totally fine with, um, it's okay. Of course, we'd be very grateful if you participate because it's wonderful for research and gathering important evidence um, for the value of the many different ways in which we're presenting uh, live music performance, particularly since, um, since COVID. So in the next few minutes, just before the concert uh, commences, for those who are interesting, interested in participating in the research, please read the information sheet and consent form now. Um, if you have any questions, you can um, pop your hand up and Susie will come and uh, talk to you. If you're online, you can put a question in the chat and Beth Ann, who is the researcher, will be able to respond to you. Um, so what we will do now is give you a couple of minutes to uh, finish having a read of the information sheet and the consent form and then complete the first page of the hard copy of the uh, um, form if you're in the room. If you're online, you click on the link um, to the survey it, and open it, have it open in a separate browser so, um, window so you can watch the concert in one and then you can have the survey um, open in a second browser window. So for the uh, online questionnaire, you just click through till you find that um, first page where you have to answer a few questions. That should only take you about a minute. 
Um, and once you've completed all of these activities, please sit back and relax and enjoy the concert. Um, and after the piazzola, I will jump up and let you know what to uh, respond to. Okay, so I'll give you a couple of minutes and then I'll invite Ella and Will onto the stage to start the concert. Okay, so it looks like we're about ready to go. So I would like to invite Ella and Will to the stage to play uh, a beautiful arrangement of uh, Piazzolla's L'Histoire du Tango. Um, Ella and Will, please join us on the stage. Thank you. 
Wow, that's a tough act to follow. <laughs> Um, yeah, so now what we'd like you to do, if you uh, don't mind, is fill out the page two of the questionnaire, if you've got a hard copy. Um, it's titled During Concert Questionnaire dash Piazzolla. This should only take a moment to do. see we're almost ready to go with our next piece on the program. So next I'd like to invite uh, one of our most wonderful percussion uh, teachers here at the School of Music, Angus Wilson, to the stage who's going to provide, um, pr perform a wonderful vibraphone solo for us and Angus will introduce that a little more. G'day, yeah, so uh, this piece is called uh, Blues for Gilbert. Um, it's a vibraphone piece I've been playing since my late teens, uh, so one I'm familiar with. Um, Blues for Gilbert is uh, written by, written by Mark Lentworth um, and composed for Gilbert Webster. Um, and the story behind the piece is that um, Gilbert Webster was the composer, Mark Lentworth's teacher, the percussion teacher, vi jazz vibes teacher. Um, and Gilbert was very sick and, you know, it was, it was terminal. Um, and Mark went to go and pay him a visit and said, oh, look, Mark, Gilbert asked, Mark, can you play for me once more? Um, and so Mark did a little improvisation, um, you know, as a, at the request of his teacher, um, and they said it was so nice that um, he sort of went home and, and notated it down and has become this staple of the sort of percussion repertoire. Um, yeah, which is a really lovely piece. So it's got a very improvisatory feel, um, very much in sort of a, a jazz style. Um, a very lovely piece, yeah, reflective, uh, and I've really enjoyed playing it over the years. So, um, yeah, I hope you like my interpretation today.
Thanks so much, Angus. That was really fantastic. Um, okay, if you would turn to the next section of the questionnaire and complete the uh, section titled During Concert Questionnaire slash Glentworth, or dash, not a slash, it's a dash. Um, that would be fa fabulous. And we're going to set up for our final uh, piece while you're doing that. Okay, the final uh, piece on our program, I'm actually gonna let Angus uh, introduce, um, but it's a, uh, I'm actually thrilled to be joined not only by Angus, but also by our um, other percussion teacher at the School of um, Music, J Jacob Inoka. Um, so Angus, if you wouldn't mind, I'll hand over to you. Yes, uh, so yeah, one of our esteemed uh, colleagues, uh, David Montgomery, who's uh, the principal percussionist with the Queensland Symphony Orchestra, um, has arranged these piano pieces and then three percussive responses. Um, these microcosmos studies, we're doing 149, 150, 151. Um, Bella Bartok wrote them as sequential studies that get gradually harder for use by teachers and piano teachers, and it's a well well-recognised um, sort of method book, as it were. Uh, and Dave, the, the later ones are really recognised as performable pieces. Um, Bartok wrote them for the first few volumes for his son, um, and then in the later ones, he really he was seeing these as kind of performance-level uh, pieces um, for a recital hall. In this case, uh, we're doing three as written with added percussion. So the piano part is divided onto the two marimbas um, and then there's a little bit of extra percussion and then David um, has written a response to these called Bulges in Danser Danserium Rhythm uh, <laughs> which is sort of yeah a bit of his play on words rather than the um, the, the, the micro what's the name of them there? Dances in Bulgarian Rhythm Dances in Bulgarian Rhythm is what they're called but he calls it Bulges in Danserium Rhythm so <laughs> that's how it works yeah I can't get my head around it um, yeah, so, but the, and they're sort of more percussive responses and then there's another jazzy sort of uh, one at the end. So uh, they've sort of got the same format, so it's the same time signatures, same form, but just in a completely different way. So they're his response. Um, it says on the program there's six, but there's actually three of each. Um, I think the six are maybe coming a bit later on, so uh, you can keep an eye out for them if you like the first three. Um, cool. Uh, so I hope you enjoy this, yeah, and... Uh, yeah, that's the last concert for the last piece for the sh concert, isn't it? Yeah, thank you.
Thank you, everyone. Uh, that brings our performing aspect to an end. If you wouldn't mind just completing the rest of the questionnaire you have uh, about this piece, and then there's a few little follow-up questions. Uh, that would be great. Uh, it's called, oh yeah, the sections are called During the Concert Questionnaire, Bartok slash Montgomery, and then the final page is the post-concert questionnaire title. Um, for those in the Nixon room, once you've completed your questionnaire, you can hand it in to Susie over uh, by the door there, and she'll check that everything's um, signed off on your consent form, and um, she'll, yeah, separate it all so it's all anonymous. If you'd like to stay and participate in a focus group, um, that would be really wonderful. We'd uh, really appreciate gathering a bit more depth of um, your experience about the concert today. If you're in the room, please just meet us on the floor over there and Susie will uh, take you to the focus group, which is just around the corner. If you're an online participant, once you get to the end of the questionnaire and you click on the button to submit, it will bring up a Zoom meeting link for you to uh, go to and Beth Ann will join you in the Zoom meeting. Um, I think it's also going to be put in the chat for you uh, as well if you're online. So yeah, we'd be incredibly grateful if you'd, um, if you'd consider staying for a focus group online or in the room. Uh, and other than that, I want to thank you for your attendance today and thank you for your important contributions to this important research for the future of our, um, our musical culture. So thank you once again and I'll sign off. <laughs>